So like I I can be Roy. I'll oh, write it up for you guys. Lead us. <laughs> All right, Please. Patrick. Yeah. Hey, Patrick. Nice to meet you. Hello. It's nice to meet you too, Lucas. <laughs> it's really never nice to meet Patrick, but that's fine. Oh. Well, you know, fuck you. So. <laughs> ah, first curse. Was that was that a like drumstick? Oh, it was a that dog. you just threw a dog toy. Um. Uh, my he dog. just throws. He just throws right, shit yeah. boats on the floor. I thought, I thought you it's, just like had a piece of chicken and you just like no, winged it over your head. It's uh, it's wicked, and I enjoy watching my dog just like rip him to shreds. Ah, well, that's very understandable. <laughs> Come here. So, um, oh, come down. Card review. Let's do it. Let's what see. cards? I don't have any cards. Oh, Pack. should we bring them up? I know them by heart. Pack five, probably. Hey, you know what's pretty cool? Like, Team Covenant totally sends me the cards, and I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> they just Which show cards? Like, hey, chapter packs. They send yeah. you a chapter like, pack? Yeah, I don't know why. Moments I, like this, they want you to plug. Like, I, I, e I emailed. Service. They might, but they should like put a like little note in it or something that says that, because I used it's to subscribe. Understood. And I emailed them once. I was like, hey, I keep getting sent cards. They're like, oh, we'll totally fix that. And I still get cards. I'm like, whatever. If you want to send me free shit, I'm buying anyway. I love you guys. Like, I totally love Team Covenant. I would resubscribe, but if they want to send it free, more power. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I'm I'm glad I'm I'm glad our episode of the White Book was not also a card review last week. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you had to do draft. There's there's n not nearly enough card reviews. That's for sure. Yeah, people would definitely be sick of hearing my views if I did this and that and card game BB. I'm pretty sure at this point everyone knows my views before I ever review a single card. <laughs> yeah, that's I, that's definitely accurate. Uh, so, all right. I like, uh, I like the different times of day in each of our locations. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely like still daytime where Lucas is. <laughs> it's like it's definitely. Yeah. yeah. For Three like, hours. Like, night. Like, <laughs> in cave white here in, in the dark. <laughs> the troll. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I, I wish I was outside right now on the beach. This is... I mean, you live in California. You don't get to just be like, a oh, beach, fuck you, man. Like, right Patrick, there. Patrick's right in there. Wisconsin and Buzz is in Sweden. It's snowed there in the past few <laughs> days it. for both yes. of them. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like snowing. It's 78 skin. today, pretty nice. <laughs> pretty nice. The weather... Last time I shoveled snow was um, never, because why would anyone <laughs> ever do that? Yeah, I live in apartments, so I don't travel snow either. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. The, the weather is uh, really indecisive out here. We have we have gone from like one of the hottest April days we've had like ever to like super cold rain today. Wow! And I I never bother to check the weather when I leave the house in the morning, so I'm just always uncomfortable. We have a uh, really really terrible windstorm right now because we get these special kind of winds called the Santa Ana winds. Anyways, uh, there's palm trees all over the campus that I work on, and the wind was whipping so bad today. And if, like, if you get a good, good look at palm fronds, they have kind of like these little sharp teeth on the edges. And mm -hmm. this palm frond gets whipped and hits a kid on the arm and almost cuts to the bone, just like shreds, shreds their arm as I'm walking across the quad to lunch. It was Did you help? insane. No, there was other people that could help. <laughs> <laughs> like, eh, you're fine. Eh. Walk I it off, buddy. You got it. I didn't, You're fine. I didn't help. This was an interesting week. At the beginning of this week, we had a student. And I mean, you guys don't know where I teach. Who cares? But she was uh, hopping the fence, like the back fence to ditch school. And she's like at the top. This is a high fence, like an eight-foot fence. And she's at the top. And uh, security like started towards her. She kind of like quickly scrambled over the top. And she falls over to the other side. But her... Her ring, her ring gets caught. Ah, uh, no, no, no! This story needs to fucking stop. And <laughs> oh god, <laughs> she's not, she's not a small girl. All right, so, so the ring, like you can imagine, like a slightly pudgier hand, like the way that looks with a ring, right? Like it's not coming off, and it just. <laughs> Glazer can't even look. It's like, what do you look? There's nothing to close your eyes at, Glazer. <laughs> I'm trying to tune you He's out. He's not going to actually rip <laughs> off just... his finger to demonstrate what happened. It, <laughs> it, it, 
it took it all off. Like like oh. peeling a grape, just shoop, the whole thing. <laughs> like that's like, what like, happens when you look. He peels a yeah. grape. Like only the Boltons could have done to this girl's finger. Um, <laughs> and of course, her friend was like right there and took pictures. And my students are showing me the next that's, day. Let's say you stay in school, kids. Yeah. So she has no skin on her finger. Just Jesus. took it off. What am I- one of my kids tried to jump the fence, or not one of my kids, a kid in my school tried to jump a fence, and look, my cat's ass is on my head. Um, <laughs> but one of my kids tried to jump a fence, and it went through their leg, which is oh, so cool. much less gravity. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Still so, not good. I mean, oh don't try and jump fences, you idiots. Yeah, this is like... like... If, you're, if you're not athletic, that's not the time <laughs> to try. Uh, Glazer, open your Sencaster and uh, press yes, and then uh, we can start s- stuff. Oh. Uh, what is? Where do I press yes? It doesn't say yes anymore. I don't know. It says for me that Glazer waiting for microphone access. But I said yes to that already. Yeah, this yeah, recording this has finished. New... Yeah, yeah, it's a new recording. How do I get to that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just I'll... press refresh on the page, and we're gonna start. And fuck it. I think it's in the top right. You can. You can there's. Click it. But oh, that's where you guys are. So that might be the problem. No, there's nothing in the top right. In log in. It's asking me to log in and raise my hand. Blog support. There's nothing in Zencaster. So There's not like a little picture of a microphone in the top right. I, I mean, dude, I know how to look for a picture. No, <laughs> <laughs> like, dude. like, are you sure? <laughs> I mean, there's a microphone next to my name. I can mute and unmute myself. Your uh, cat's uh, ass is firmly re- in your face. Re- restart <laughs> Chrome no, it's or whatever. And restart, just, uh, uh, so close Zencaster and reopen it. Yeah. Can I just like press Enter on the page and hope for the best? Leave this page. Let's see what happens. Um, hey, we should introduce ourselves. The guy with the really awesome beard is either Buzz or Lucas. Is there? Are there? Sh- is there introductions I under I our dreams. names? Wait, hmm? are there introductions under our faces? Yes. You have. Oh, then fuck that. <laughs> like, if you're just listening, <laughs> I'm not going to be Dark Nodge for like half the cast again, am I? <laughs> uh, no. Hey, wait. Did no, you guys hear? Correct the, now. <laughs> did you guys hear the actual big community news? No, no. One no. of the one of the only three good podcasts is getting a new guest host. Uh, oh, I did hear that host. actually. Yeah, beyond the I walls was... for a new host. I'm yeah. jealous of the fact that I'm already on another podcast. Oh wait, are they getting get a new host podcast. or are they replacing a host? No, no, no I, they're I mean, getting I wish an extra they... <laughs> one for a while. <laughs> I wish they were getting rid of Heinz, but they're not. <laughs> um, it, no. So it says solo tracks on my stage, like unfinalized track MP3. I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah what mono. Yeah. Finalize. Let's yeah. finalize it. Fuck you. Finalize. Uploaded. Am I on now? I don't know what I'm doing. I hate your stupid technology. Wait, Patrick, you got those PS4 headphones, huh? I do, yeah. Ooh, ooh jealous. This cat yeah. is all yeah. over me. You guys should be jealous. Uh, <laughs> let's those open some wireless Zencast headphones. Again. So hot. So hot. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of them. Yeah, they look good. I'm looking at this big cord running down my bag. <laughs> yeah, you just feel like a schmuck. I, I do. I'm wired. I feel cold. Got to unplug. Cold. I actually got these before I had a PS4. It's your name. <laughs> You're just like, like hey, that. get those. That's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, I just closed and reopened the link, and it still says this recording has finished. Solo track. It's giving me a solo track. Can we just fucking not it's do an audio? It's time for your, for your hit solo, Glazer. Like, I don't know what you want me to do here. Like, Who's the audio for? Who requested MP3 uploaded this? successfully. Okay, now uh, we're making a new recording. New, new recording. And I'm here. Wait, I'm Every, ready to go. Everybody. I'm here. Hey, yes. hey, we're all here. Okay, we're all here. Great. Recording we're all here. Part three. Okay. All right, Patrick Hines. No... Tell us. Hey. Why are we here? Uh, we're here to review some cards. It's echoing. Wait, it's echoing like crazy for me. Why? Uh, I don't know, man. Are you wait, actually wait. listening to the Zencast while it's happening? Because you probably shouldn't do that. How do I do that? Is that no, a no, thing? No, no, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. It's okay. Fault. It's Excellent. bad. Oh, okay. so, oh, man. Hello, Patrick, Patrick it seems good now. needs a beard. Yeah, it's true. I, I need a beard. I'm, uh... He looks like he shaved five minutes before the cast. I, no, I, I shaved twice. earlier tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he did shave earlier tonight. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I did. <laughs> oh, I had Just, to puke. I had to puke. Sorry, even, guys. Can't even look at my my clean no. shaven face. Someday, someday I will. I will have a beard, and then I'll get on your cast, Andre. How, how old are you? Uh, twenty. 
Okay, so then, then it's fine. That's then it's fine. Yeah. You know, his whole life's ahead of him. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah the rest of us are like, oh man, I remember That's being shit. young once. Yeah. Fucking, I had a future. Now I'm a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> now other people. Now other people have futures in front of me all the time. It's other people can achieve their dreams, and I point to you, like, don't end up like me. <laughs> I, 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 taught, I taught an SAT <laughs> class from six to nine p.m. tonight. Oh. Ugh. Three hours of straight ACT prep. Gross. Oh, it's so gross. What does that even mean? It's like <laughs> ACT. <laughs> like it's college a entrance test. exam. Yeah, of sorts. basically. <laughs> it's, it's a stupid fake bootleg test because people like making money. Like the ACT benefits no one. <laughs> Except people that like money for selling tests. But I, I mean, when we were in high school, no one took the ACT. What? No, it was the SAT. Ridiculous. They just I mean, convinced save, everyone, oh, there's one more you should take. Saved right. by the Bell didn't do, an S, didn't do an ACT special. No way. It was all about the <laughs> SAT and being so excited. Yeah. Do you guys all have the chat open? The, I the mean, chat it's not, open? No. It's, I mean, it's I, behind this window. Yeah. I mean, I've got to go back and forth between that and the cards, unless you want to, like, I don't know. I don't. Oh, the Skype Stop. chat? Oh, the Twitch yeah. chat. Oh, the Twitch, Twitch chat? chat? No way. There's a Twitch chat? No. What, what? Oh, I can have the Twitch chat open. I like doing yeah. that. Yeah, I got great, it. I can great, do that. great. All right. So, I'm opening uh, it. We are sorting after date added. <laughs> so, so, guys, um, if you ever, like, listen to this cast again, and you probably shouldn't, just remember how much better this is when Roy is here to keep us organized. All right. Hey, it's... I'm Roy Knight. You guys are going to stay on track, all right? So tell us what card is first, and please be right. Yeah. Who... All right, the card that is first is uh, Great John's Vanguard. We don't read them. Oh. It's, it's a video guest. All right. <laughs> So, uh, so he's, he's crap, do you know, right? Wait, do you guys know the three <laughs> ratings? There's three ratings. Right. Uh, bind, bind, binder, binder, build, beard. Build, beard. This is guy's beard binder. the best? Yeah, beard, beard is ob- <laughs> no. Beard is obviously the thing. best. It's just... But it's not, yeah, it's, it's yeah. the best. Okay. Like, because that's right. the only three real ratings, right? Binder, stick in the binder, build, stick it in your deck, or beard, oh my god, like rub it all over your face. <laughs> Patrick sure. could just say Buzz because he doesn't have a beard, but either. All right. Way. Nah, it's yeah. beard. It's still beard. So, I, feel like, uh, I feel like if I get enough beard cards and I rub them on my face, I might grow a beard. Just a, a card beard. That's good. Yeah. yeah, I'll just like sew one together of good cards. Lucas, <laughs> tell, tell us what you think about this one. I think he's a binder. I mean, I don't like him. Uh, I'm not looking at the card, but if I remember right, five cost, four strength, military power icon, he's- and he's got that. What? Uh, plus two strength and renown? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it's the only during the f- first three plots? Or yeah, first you, are, you are correct. Yeah, it's trash. Come on. Hmm. It's trash. No. Hey, trash. The chat, no. The chat like, doesn't work for me. Let me rush for the first couple turns and then just turn off my rush. Like, let me just turn off my own rush when I need it most. I mean, and he's five costs. He's expensive. I don't what? like it. I don't like I it. mean, melee, guys. Yeah. Oh my god. Exactly. I forgot I'm... you guys played that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm... Why do we talk about that shit on this cast? Oh, because oh, uh, that's how Buzz comes in second. I forgot. <laughs> no, but... Yeah, I asked Win and Joust. It's too easy. But uh... I, well, you, you come in second in Melee. Patrick comes in second in Joust. It's really good. Oh, yeah. It's true, I do. I'm unable to win Joust games. I just don't like him with Buzz. all the new start cards. Am I finding room for this guy in a Stark deck? I don't think so. I mean, I, I like it because it's a five, five, uh, six for five uh, in the early stages of the game where Stark suffers, I think. They they need to get an early good start. If if we're still playing the game late in the game, Stark is lost, right? But what are they suffering for, right? You can get cheaper military icons, and the power icon's not that important early, early game. So, I mean, what, it's what are they adding? Arrang- it's similar to a ranging party with, uh, with Reno. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't type in the yeah. chat. I'm, I give up. But that's I mean, only because <laughs> Nightwatch, they don't have any other good, really good military icons <laughs> except for Ghost, right? So, that, so that's kind of true, but still. <laughs> like, Ranging Party is a must-have in Night's Watch, but these guys aren't must-have in Stark. You'd much no. rather see your uniques, which are coming in at, at maybe slightly more cost, but, but yeah. are way better. If, if, 
if this were four cost, it would be a money card. But as oh, yeah. five cost, it's binder as shit. Like, except I don't have a binder. binder. I just have it's piles binder. of cards I don't use. <laughs> so it's kind of a shitty pile of cards I don't use or ever look at or think about until I need proxies. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's a binder for Joust, unfortunately, because there are just better options. But but Buzz got it right. I mean, for melee, this guy, this guy should be in your Stark deck, because. Like half of the melee games are over by the time he's off, and Renown is really great in melee. So tell us right. about the next card. All right, so the next card that we have up here is Winterfell Crypt. Oh, really? So, uh, Ooh, yeah. I think it's solid. I don't love that card at all. Like Stark is probably the best house right now at not letting it shit get killed. It's got like three different in-house ways of not getting its shit killed, plus hand no, judgment. No, this thing, your stuff has to get killed. Yeah, but like, that's what I'm right saying. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But like, because oh, yeah, yeah. you're so good at not getting your shit killed in Stark, like, how much Winterfell Crypt do you really want to run as a unique location? Maybe one or two? Like, people are like, free oven every deck, and I'm like, eh, if you're Stark, you should be better at not getting your shit killed all the time, because you have Winterfell, and that new event, and Bran, and Hands Judgment and uh, something else. Bodyguards and Little Birds and all sorts of shit. Like, why is your shit getting killed all the time, Stark players? I mean, oh. there are ways to stop your stuff from getting killed, but it'll still happen. I mean, I hear there's a card called Miriam Stewart <laughs> that's also in this pack. Uh, I mean, run old she cat. Will, she will eviscerate you. Not if you're but running I mean, old like, cat. Yeah, not if you're... I, I mean... There are ways to deal with old cat. There's Neil. There's other kill that decks that play Miri have. But I mean, this card can fully turn a game around. I mean, like if you have new Ned on the board in this card, like you can nuke a Tywin. You can nuke literally any character in the game except the Red Viper, and yeah. that is a pretty powerful ability. Except yeah. also Gregor. Yeah, but it's a stall. It's a stall card. Like, it's not a win card because by the time you end up using this, like, I'd used it against John the other day against his Melisandre. And, like, he had a 34 card deck with three Melisandres in it then. And guess what he drew next turn? Sure, that's fair. Like, it, like it stalls. It stalls well, but, like, I don't know how much stall you really want to be playing in Stark. I mean, it's it's a one cost for a little bit of spot control, and you're already losing the character, right? It's not like you're sacking the character to use it. They're on their way out. And, I mean, you can use this on, like, Sansa with a bunch of guys in your dead pile, so she's not doing you any good, but that four-printed strength well. is still really working for you. And you can pop a Cersei, you can pop a Tyrion, you can pop a lot of stuff for a character that's basically chud at that point, right? I like it. Eh, I think, I, dude, I don't think you don't run it, but it's certainly not a beard. Wait no. a minute. If you're running it, no. it's a no, build no. at least, right? It's a build. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, a build. All right. It's just right. not so We're all in agreement. It's a build. Mm -hmm. We like it. Okay. Right. Uh, Trey, uh, Trey from Twitch chat actually says something really important that you should think about. Uh, oh. Doesn't help versus tears. Uh, no, it specifically won't work with tears, which is really annoying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. oh, nice. Weird interaction. Hey, by but, the way, Twitch, Twitch chat, I'm reading, but for whatever reason, it won't let me reply. So I'm there, but I can't you need, talk. You need to log in to reply. I've always logged into Twitch. I've never logged out of Twitch. Whatever. I don't care enough to like figure out how to do that. If if you can find a sacrifice engine like Jon Snow, you can sacrifice whoever got tears and then trigger the crypt. So yeah. sure. I like that'll it. work. Next. All right. Next up, we have. The Rose Road Patrol. This is a House Tyrell army that nobody's going to remember in like two weeks. <laughs> I like them. I like them. I think Why? It's a build. I think it's a build. <laughs> it's not a beard. How drunk are you? That's a binder. It's a binder and a half. Binder, binder. No binder. way. That, that, like that this guy. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me tell you the deck they bought. Let me tell you the deck. Let me defend my rating for this card. Can it be a burner? Like, we can literally burn this card? No. All right, let me, let me go through some points. It's at the four cost, which is really nice in this world of first snow. Okay, so it's a good cost right there. I'm not playing this in a Tyrell deck. Screw that. But this card helps Lanny Rose get some legs back. I think. Yes! Because you're always going to have the highest ranked character in play. Suddenly you've got a stealth power icon and a Lannister deck that kind of needs it. That is first snow proof. 
I like it. And if you don't have Tywin, you've got Gregor, and the guy is doing work. He's doing work. I like it. He's a build. They're just they're they're better cards to put in your deck. If you're playing Lanny Rose and you have gotten down to this guy on the list, like what are you not playing? Instead? Guys without stealth, he's got. Are stealth. you not playing play Serio? But like, you know when play? you wait, you, you know when you really too. want that stealth. Wait, you know when you really want that stealth um, against Barra, where Bob is too strong for that shit to matter anyway, and you're not getting it. Dead. And against I'm Greyjoy, where they all have fucking stealth anyway. Like those are the two places you really want that stealth. On the power icon. Uh, it's a build card. I'll build the deck. I'll bring it back. I'll <laughs> defeat you, I mean, you all. In fairness, Lu- <laughs> in fairness, Lucas likes bad cards. And last time he liked bad cards, Bun- Buzz won a huge tournament. Hey. <laughs> so, like, so like well, while, I, while I think this is stupid, I'm willing to give him credit that he can make stupid shit work. Give me a little credit. I think I can make it work in a specific deck. All right. Build. All right. You know, what? you know what? Convinced. I I, I, Tyrell cards with stealth, guys. Tyrell cards with stealth. Just, I, I like the Curio and Wildling Scout. I, I would play both of those cards over this any day. I would play Rattleshirt Raiders over this guy any day. Yeah. I would play the, play the la- Fetching Knights over this guy. And there's Always just not enough room fetching in the ladies. Day. Fetching Ladies. You don't play Fetching Ladies in that deck, though, do you? I don't think I do. What? No Fetching Ladies. I hate that. Any Go Fetching Ladies. <laughs> Ladies. Oh, right. you're getting well enough, oh, but I don't. I, I'm in the minority. All right. I mean, yeah. We have another Tyrell card. Next card, we have another Tyrell card. That card is pulling the strings. It's a plot card. Uh, this card's super overrated. It's good, but I'm not putting it in every Tyrell deck. Are you guys? At I the moment, I, I I'm not sure I would put it in any Tyrell deck. I haven't found room for it in anything. I I have been like forcing myself to put it in Tyrell decks just because I want to see if it's actually any good, <laughs> um, and then I haven't played them at all because I've been playing. Like, so so I wait, don't know if it's good or not, like all the in-house plots, except um, the Stark one and the Watch one. I think I've cut. Like I end up cutting all of them. Is uh, that the Lanny, bad the Lanny one is good in the correct deck, but they, right. they, don't, yeah. they don't have the support for it yet, I think. I think oh. it'll be better later on. Sure, I, probably. I, and I still play Rise in some Greyjoy decks. If it's like a yeah. Power Rush deck, I still play Rise. I've more or less ended up cutting it. I like it, but I don't love it. Like, it can it can find a place. It's just two gold socks. But anyway, pulling the strings, I've played against it two or three times now, and he copies my filthy or summons, and I don't, I don't <laughs> care. I don't care. <laughs> so, Binder? Yes. Binder. For now, yeah, at probably least. Binder for now. Yeah. Somewhere down the line, we might see some more good effects that, you know, are powerful enough to make you want to copy this. What the fuck is this next card? I've not seen this <laughs> one. <laughs> right. Wait, this is a card they printed? It's actually... Next card is uh, is Chet. Oh, yeah. Chet. <laughs> I had a buddy uh, named Watch Chet there. once. Yeah, yeah. I, Nate hates Night's Watch. Like, someone gave Nate Night's Watch a faction, Nate and he was like, it. fuck Us. that faction. Here's all the bad cards. <laughs> <laughs> like, if this card can't get a keyword, like, really... Yeah, this is a uh, this is pretty brutal. Like, let's mm. release this the pack after first snow too. I think I saw I... a single tear fall from Joe from Cincinnati's <laughs> eye when he read this card. Just I mean, like Chet, Chet like plotted murders. He he had he was in charge of the hounds. He was kind of a dangerous guy. Give him a military icon. Is it that hard? Give him a military. Give him something. Yeah, and the, and the dominant section. I mean, I was like, I saw this card. I oh, return a wolf or dead wolf card from your discard belt tied to your hand. I mean, that's pretty great. I mean, I can if I hit the reserve, I can discard my ravens. I can this guy can get them back again. No, 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 no. It's a dominant section. Okay, but that could work. But oh wait, you have to kneel a steward. Oh yeah. wait, it doesn't need the kneel. It's pl- <laughs> oh, now Night's Watch. You know, one cost reducers are stewards. So there, yeah, but you know what you're using them for? You know what you're using them for? Reduce the cost of your... <laughs> what are they called? Reducers? <laughs> yeah, I, know. I hear you. I hear you. Uh-oh. I'm not calling him good. He's a, he's a binder I mean, right now. Yeah. Absolutely a binder. I mean, like, uh, and additionally, the fact 
that he has his only icon is the entry icon, which is Nightwatch's weakest icon. You're not going to be saving him to kneel to get a fucking messenger raven back. He's going to no. be having to defend that wall. Is there some kind of like Night's Watch to or I'm sorry, Stark to Night's Watch where you're like sacrificing direwolves using him to get him back and maybe someday something. Yeah, I know, well, right? You know what there you know what But you can is. do that. I mean, right now you can do that. That's wait, wait, wait. true. Let's pro- let's make Joe from Cincinnati happy. Um Old Bear is good in the right deck. Like Joe from Cincinnati says so, and like he's played more Nights Watch than you, so you don't get to argue with him. So <laughs> I, I've pl- I've played, I was Nights Watch in Thrones. You Lord, have you ha- you have not played more Nights Watch than Joe from Cincinnati. He's got a whole YouTube page of him playing <laughs> nothing but fucking Nights Watch. You haven't played more Nights Watch. So <laughs> since Nights Watch is his shit, like and Old Bear is real, like Old Bear's Raven, right? Right. Yeah, but doesn't that give an intrigue icon, or does that give stealth? Uh, like, you I mean think, if they I knock think... the raven off, you can yeah, get this guy. yeah. Or you just play yeah. more than one copy. I mean, no, no. Yeah. Well, like, well, you're, you're gonna you're copy. gonna save this guy on the table the whole round. <laughs> He's just sitting there, not doing anything, just to go get back your raven. Yeah, that, that, that gives that they their intrig- confiscation. It on gives or old Barrett intrigue icon and stealth. He's hard to get through once you do that. Yeah, this I I think Lucas's idea of having a Stark wolf. Wolves deck that banners the Night's Watch for like Ghost and Benjin and this guy, maybe, but it's no. probably not a very good deck. So it's his best group. use right now. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah. you know what his best use right now? And is? he gives Stark an entry guy. Wait, 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 wait. His, be- his best, his best, his best use right now is Binder. <laughs> That's true. That is his best. Use. My, agreed, my, agreed. my Binder is getting thin. Time to fill it up. Speaking of Binder, uh, the next card is Northern <laughs> Rookery. It's another wow. Night's Watch card. It's also bad. <laughs> so, Why did they um, print these cards? I mean, these two cards are so bad. Holder, Holder <laughs> is what? great. If Why it, would you? Why if would this you, card, right, they're not doing anything else on the on the board. So Holder, nope. if this be card used. wasn't unique, I would be. I would no, say, you yeah, no, you're you okay with the Holder stuff. It would still be bad, but I think you it would, would be playable you would never on earth play this over an iron throne well you know, no you know, i would be wait, playing both if i'm playing know, this no, no, i'm no. already playing multiple iron thrones wait, no 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 you're playing three because this isn't one of this isn't better than the third iron throne <laughs> <laughs> but you can have them both out aaron you can have plus two reserve <laughs> three with sam. madness three with sam three uh, reserve <laughs> <laughs> this card is so <laughs> terrible. I, and I hear people defend it all the fucking time. And I'm like, what are you, are we creating Night's Watch cards on a curve now? Like, I mean, at this point, card. like, we probably should. It's sad. Night's Watch is like that kid that falls asleep. <laughs> Lord of Care is like, it's not that bad by Night's Watch standard. <laughs> yes, that's grading it on a curve. <laughs> they need Thank the you. box. They need a box of cards. Yeah, 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 a box yeah, yeah. of good cards. They do. Um, like, like now. They because, like, once defense is good, what do you do? Like, once defense yeah. can't, like, it's the most boring. You thing. Valor. I mean, that's what you do once we get that. Then it's like, oh, my defense deck sucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all my defense is <laughs> <laughs> done. I have to spend three more plots building it up. I mean, come on. But you can't kill my old bear. All right, let's move on from there. All right. That goes <laughs> the next card. We don't get to waste time. Good. I think Chet so killed card. old bear, didn't he? I think he might have. <laughs> the next know, card maybe. is the Kingswood. Oh God! Is it bear location? Taking a break. How come Taking Night's Watch didn't Taking get this? Break. Yeah, know. Night's Watch would have loved yeah, this. Night, Night's Watch would uh, definitely not- have loved this card. Um, it. I liked this card when it first came out, and then I like it a little bit less now that I've actually had a chance to play with it. I think if um. If we weren't in the first snow meta right now, this would be a lot better. But a lot of the cards that are actually like giving you trouble in Vera with power challenges already are way too big for this to have much of an effect. If you can get more than one out, it can actually be pretty powerful. But all it takes is one challenge to get through, and you're you just wasted two cards. I mean, it's either a Night's Watch or a Targ card, and it's loyal, so it's neither. So fuck that. I mean, mm-hmm. bear a banner of the of the watch is probably a better defense deck than most Night's Watch decks right now. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. Can we just put it in the binder? Right next yeah. to the Northern Rookery? Yeah. They can be friends. I, this is another case of me reading the effect and, oh, this is great. And then force reaction. Okay, oh, what is it? what's this? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> you know, eh, whatever. I'm not going to try and rewrite the card so it would be good because there's a million ways. But yeah, this yeah. card sucks. Hey, this pack sucks so far. We've got Winterfell <laughs> Crypt, which was like build and then a bunch of shit. Except for the... Wait, except... Here? Yeah, we should probably just stop. There are probably no good cards in this pack. <laughs> except for that one really shitty card that Lucas likes. <laughs> yeah, except for that one really bad card that Lucas likes. These cards are oh. all pretty bad. <laughs> We're talking. This one's as good as Rose Road. We're down. We're all uh, agree. <laughs> we're all agree. The good next card. Control. All right. Next card. Is, uh, Perfect stinking, timing. Stinking drunk. <laughs> next card is Lucas. Perfect timing for Lucas. <laughs> uh, oh, stinking drunk. Um, oh, I'll start. Yeah. Let me let me tackle this thing. Uh, stinking drunk. It's zero, right? Zero cost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Zero cost. You don't know what it is at all. Do you? <laughs> no, you sack it to keep a guy knelt, right? Sack yeah, it. That's true. Yeah. Um. No, I like it. Zero cost. I mean, it's a one-off use. It's easy to play. Does Barra need it right now? Is it loyal? Is it loyal? I don't remember. Not loyal. No, no. Not loyal. That's kind of interesting. Um, some other houses could splash some stuff. Where do you back. have space for that? I don't yeah. know. Honestly, I don't know where there's space. But I like it. I think it's a card you can build or build and use and use effectively. I mean, keeping guys t- knelt, that's good, right? No? I'm going to drink now. You guys talk. Like I mean, like... The card is is fine as a Neil card, but Barra really doesn't have room for more Neil. Like I, I think they've reached the critical mass, and if they put in more Neil, they just aren't going to be able to win the game. Because uh, it's like, oh, okay, you can you can Neil even more of my stuff. No but... one ever lost a game because they had too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm right. going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lannister <laughs> right. in first edition, they were. They, oh, more Neil. Oh, more Neil. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're never that's sorry fair. to like, that's oh, fair. I can that's out fair. more guys. It's good. It's a good thing. That's fair. But I mean, like, what are you cutting to play this card? Like, are you cutting your seed in flames? Are you cutting your milks? Well, or are you not cutting Neil. Your... You're not cutting Neil. I think <laughs> no. like, that's kind of the key. You're not cutting seed in flames. So that's a Neil. Yeah, no. I think you so don't. you coming back. Nice. Um, so I think this card is kind of eh. But like, there's two buzzes in the game, right? There's like really good player buzz. I think it's better in uh, in the non-loyal in the stag uh, banners, right? And probably maybe Kraken, an offensive deck that they don't want to run milk. Uh, they they just want to get on the board, uh, get tempo, stay ahead, get ahead, stay ahead decks. They could use this, I think. So the dominance module stuff too, then maybe. Like, hey, yeah, I don't, don't want you coming back. Nice. Um, so I think this card is kind of eh. But, like, there's two buzzes in the game, right? There's, like, really good player buzz. He, you're looking at his face right now. And there's really good deck builder buzz. And really good deck builder buzz likes this card a lot. Oh, California so, buzz. Our, our yeah, buzz. I mean, New no, buzz. Tulsa, Tulsa buzz, by the oh, way. No, no, he's California buzz now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's coming to Tulsa. Kubla, man. He's coming to Kubla this year. He's going to never... Go. He'll never leave. Who ever goes to Tulsa? Who like who would go back to Tulsa? What I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's go to San Francisco or Tulsa for vacation. It's yeah. not a question you actually have to ask. Um, but he likes this and he's really smart. So maybe it's good. I don't know. I'm gonna say build it as an experiment. Is that the smallest beer known? To, what is how, how many ounces is that? is that? Like a four ounce brew? What is that? <laughs> it's not. It's not beer. <laughs> oh, it's not beer. Okay, got it. What is it? Like it's Norwegian uh, aqua elk wheat. Piss or It's uh, hmm. It's kind of like vodka, uh, but with uh, like lots of spices in it. Oh, that sounds terrible. The oh, very, very sweet thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, any ratings for stinking drunk? Um, builder, I, like build. builder, sure. Builder, builder's fine. The next card we have is Bronn. Bronn is a Lannister character that Aaron doesn't like very much. I'm, I'll explain why finally, because I haven't yet. Good. Yeah, you've All been right. teasing us for a long time. I have been. I've been waiting for a fucking podcast so I don't have to write it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lazy. Well, go for it. Tell us why it's bad. 
So if you don't have Tarion out, a smart opponent's going to be really good at make, using this to make sure you don't have enough gold for any of your kill events. Um, if you're not using your kill events in Lannister, you're in a reasonable amount of trouble. If you do have Tyrion out, then your Tyrion is going to be limited in use to specifically that. In addition, if someone... Like, I know you're playing Lannister, but if you don't see Tywin, um, because you can run a little less economy because of Tywin, sometimes you're really economy starved, right? Ex besides the jumper deck, anyway. Yeah? So when you when that happens, and it does happen usually at least once per tournament, if you're playing that many games with it... Um, you're going to be really annoyed that you have to keep buying back your one drop guy. Like you're paying one gold for him right away, but you're really paying like five or six gold for him by the end of the game. So at five or six for five that you have to keep buying and be worried about your opponent taking, that's a problem. And then you're going to play like once you make the cut, maybe you end up playing like better players. If you're Buzz, you're going to play Jakob. If you're Lucas, you're going to play Bruno. If you're Patrick, you're gonna and play Ryan Jones. Don't sell it short out here. Fair <laughs> enough. You're gonna play. You're gonna. You're gonna play Bretts. If you're me, I'm gonna play. I don't know some dick from DC. So like, but then what? like no, Brotherhood without manners. Yeah, they're wonderful. Um, so but you're gonna play someone who's power actually, to the Brotherhood. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You're gonna play someone who's legitimately good, like someone who's been playing this game for years and probably like has a trick that you're not ready for because, you know, like literally like even will's been playing this game for not even Will. that's mean like i didn't mean it that way i mean like i talked to Will all the time so he doesn't count that way but like will's been playing this game for like 12 years there's a trick you're not ready for that they have a time you're not ready to do this that's gonna fuck you up so don't play this card you will regret him did anybody else right. forget what card we were talking about because he talks brum 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 okay <laughs> so I'm, i think yeah. oh bro think... right I think it's a one coster, which means my Tywin setup is more likely. I think uh, this is uh, really good with uh, the jumper events, but I mean, I wouldn't play it in anything else than Banff at the moment. Yep, I agree. I don't like so, him. Not right now. Not even one of in in Banff. Not even one of in Banff. Wow, well, the Banff master himself says no. So, <laughs> so There's better that, Banff. There's, well, by I, the way, I'm the, I'm the Banff master. He's the Banff builder. <laughs> what? Sorry, the, right. the Banff builder <laughs> says, uh, says no. The Banff master yeah. says one. Yeah. So uh, kids at home, it's up to you. By the, by the way, Atkinson, who disagreed with me, and Atkinson was right about Gregor and I was wrong. Atkinson thinks I'm right about Braun. He's not that good. Not that good. So well, like if, Aaron, Atkinson, if Aaron and Greg agree, it's probably true. <laughs> right. Like, once in a while I agree with someone I never agree with, and you should probably stop arguing then. Well, the next card is uh, Trial by Combat. It's another Lannister card. It's an event. It does some things. I like it with two claim. Otherwise, I don't run it. Yeah, I like it in a very specific deck. Like, if it's mm -hmm. a deck that's, like, focused on two claim and, like, putting a lot of military pressure through not targeted kill but through like just sheer force of military challenges. Um, I think it's pretty reasonable there, but we haven't seen a lot of those decks. Most of the landing decks we've seen are probably better served running more targeted kill. I, I'm thinking uh, replaces tears in, in these oh. kinds of decks. In these kinds no. of decks, uh, it interacts well with uh, Tower of the Hand. Uh, it's uh, yeah. I think I think you could build something, but you need to, as you say, build around it. Uh, mm -hmm. And I mean, I would run tears because I'm a, I'm not the kind of aggro player. But I think there is a deck out there who wants to run this instead because of the anti synergy. I agree. I I think like if you're playing tears in an aggro deck, you have it. It forces you to do that entry challenge last. Or at least after your military challenge. Because if you play the tiers first, your extra military claim is completely worthless. Yeah. Whereas this lets you do the challenges in whatever order best suits you. So really you can cool. Kind with of envision like some, some Lannister deck that really goes high on events and, and plays tourney grounds and, and can play this and a put to the sword on the same turn and can really kind of leverage even more events than than a deck like Banff does. But until that that's really possible I, I don't see this thing making much of a of a splash in any any lannister decks i wouldn't worry about it at least not now 
I mean, muster the realm plus red cloaks plus this. <laughs> muster the realm and has an, has nice. enough gold for that play alone. Three mediocre cards make one good one. I like. I like. Red I like red cloaks things. is an awesome <laughs> card. It's just in the wrong bag. <laughs> Don't sleep on red cloaks. In like a year, you're gonna be sad you said that about red cloaks. It's, I'm gonna it's fuck very true. Fuck your face. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. All right. Please. They're two costs. You just keep dumping a whole bunch of like gold out of them, and all, all for snow, and and there it'll go. Do Cheers. we agree? It's a builder then. Yeah, it's a yes. builder. It's a builder. Binder. For sure. Binder. Oh, all right. Wow. You didn't agree with me on Rose Road Patrol. I'm taking this one back. <laughs> well, the next card is the Raider from Pike. It's a Greyjoy character. Uh, so, um, Greyjoy. I don't, I don't want to rate Greyjoy. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Greyjoy. Wait, what? I hate Greyjoy. I think they're brainless. Yeah, me too. But I mean, no, isn't no that so deadly? <laughs> like, I, oh, don't worry. I haven't played Greyjoy since Worlds, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we <laughs> played at Worlds, and I was like, oh my god, does he have a choice? You like, I go first. Oh, I make this. <laughs> Your turn. I go first. <laughs> I make military. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he won, though. Disrespectful. So no, no. I, I, beat, I beat him in the Swiss. Oh, okay. But, but you I'm... did use Plaza of Punishment on a character that had an attachment, and that character was Balon. So we both missed it, but I will I've say. I played like three, three, four <laughs> games. I was like, can you tell me what this card does for me? I have no idea. It... It's very true. Like every time I played a card, he was like, "So what does that do?" <laughs> you should have just been like, "That one says I get fifteen power." Yeah. Next. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, uh, this, okay. Okay. This card. Goes this in the card. Binder. Yeah, it's it's binder. I I tried a deck to make it work, and uh, it didn't. So binder. <laughs> yeah. At two in the morning the other night, I I wake up to from a message from Patrick. Is there something with, uh, what is the stupid card? The Raider from Pike? I was like, probably not, man. And he was like, I'm going to build it. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, you were just like, no. And I was like, I'm going to build it anyway. And you were like, okay. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not dignifying that shit with a response. Uh, I mean, it could, it could just suddenly become a thing. You know, we get a few more weapon attachments or whatever. Yes. And sudden, suddenly someone breaks it and it's super good, but... Well, yeah. it works in that deck or whatever, but <laughs> suddenly yeah. it's not the worst. Card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Like, I think if you if you had if Greyjoy had like one more really good weapon, other than throwing X, that was zero chicken. cost. Yeah. Maybe. Guys, guys, if they have a zero cost <laughs> weapon, I'm all about it. Guys, we're eleven cards in. If this next card isn't awesome, I just quit. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. We should probably just end it if this next one isn't really good. So, yeah, are we all agreeing this is binder? Binder. Uh, yeah, for now. Builder, maybe sometime. For sure. Well, the next card is called. Wait, wait, wait. I... Pause, pause, pause. Because oh. no, sorry. Because no, we can't read a good card yet. Because the builder, maybe okay. sometime. That implies that FFG has any follow through with their like no seed planting, and they mm -hmm. never do. Okay. One right. month before this this cycle cycles out, it'll be like I've got a deck. So there's like a really great <laughs> weapon attachment that comes out, and everybody's... everyone gets excited for three weeks. Um, the next card is called the Iron Mines. Just Iron Mines, no the fuck the Iron Mines. It's a card. It's a great location. It's back. It's slightly worse, so but still really good. So I get that it was called Iron Mines in first edition did the same thing, but why is it? Why did the Iron Mines save people? How does that even make sense? Because uh, mm. you know they um, they're they're on like, hide there. Uh, <laughs> That's not saving yourself. <laughs> Hiding isn't. Uh, oh, uh, that'd be like stealth on right, defense. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. So somebody's about to die. You like see them pouring the poison. You're like, wait, wait, wait. I'll give you this iron mine that I have. <laughs> it's a bargaining chip, really. And they're like, "All right, man, you know, iron's pretty cool. I'll take that mine. I won't I won't the chop on head off. The, the iron price. Hold on, do we really think this card's worse than the uh, than the old one? The old I mean, oh, no, it's fantastic. I mean, it's better it's, in this version. It, it doesn't better. kneel, right? The new one doesn't kneel? I mean, it's it's, uh, uh, it's characters that have real cost. I like that I, it doesn't kneel. I'm not lot. saying I'm not saying that it 
in second edition is worse than the other one was in first edition. I just mean it's one cost and it no longer saves from discard. So, right. but yeah. in in terms of the meta, I think this card is way better than Iron Mines was at the end of first edition. Oh, like your big, your big characters are so important, and keeping them alive is very good. So this card is very very solid. And it's not well, so everybody can have it. Yeah. This card gets rated Samuel Lind. <laughs> that's, a good a, that's a the that's beard of nice beards. Beard. Yeah. High praise. That's high praise. Now I got a question about this card. Is this the card that finally gets people to play location control? Or are we still just like fuck it? Mm, no. <laughs> not <Probably> yet. <laughs> I mean, when? New, when? Newly made Lord is already making his way into decks. That's yeah, something. but he's also a character that's pretty good. Yeah, he's an anti-first snow tech as much as he has <laughs> location hate. Yeah, like Aaron tried to get me to play Frozen Solid when the Stark Box came out. Yeah, and then I dropped it so I was fast. Not it. And <laughs> I was right. Yeah, you definitely were. Um, God, could you imagine cutting Frozen Solid in first edition? Second edition is like fuck that. Yeah, no, I, I played with one of Roy's decks that had Frozen Solid, and I played it against a Lanny deck, and they literally had zero locations that it hit in the whole deck. <laughs> oh. All right, I guess I have two dead cards in my hand right now, so that's yeah, cool. Good Lanny decks don't play anything but limited locations, for the most part. Like Maybe you'll drop yeah. one good little card. Sh- but what about Bera? Shadow Black in your deck? <laughs> We're talking about Shadow Black's not in my deck. Oh, okay. We cut that thing out versions ago, multiple versions ago. Very true. I was oh, wondering. I did. I think Buzz still plays it. He's the he's he plays the, he um, plays a one of. Yeah. I, I I put one in on the morning and it was so good all day. <laughs> was it really? It? Yeah, yeah. I saw it in most of my games. It was so stupid. <laughs> I love when that happens. Like that stupid one of that you keep running into. You're just like, wow. I don't even did, need three of these. It's here. Did, did you guys play the uh, the Tower of the Hand in? Uh, it, was not, it, was not, it, wasn't, it wasn't legal for it wasn't the legal ah. well, it says But it's work. in there. You can ah, I still don't think it's great though. I don't think it makes the deck really any better. I think it's kind of an, an yeah. even wash with the you tempo need, hit and the have you, uh, have you, you need guys to build around it. Hand yet? No, I haven't like, had time to play it yet. I have I like it. I don't love it. Like yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's I worth have. running locations when you're not to run that. Yeah. I I uh I played it in one game, and I did bounce a Varus with Tywin when Tywin <laughs> got <laughs> I guess, but what, but what, Var- what Varus was on the board for was to get rid of your Tywin. <laughs> so, uh, but, yeah, but not to true. get him rid of him into your hand, though. <laughs> but which I, I also, I did have like an undo Tyrion, Jamie, and Cersei on the board who all got to stay on the board, oh, and yeah. uh, that was fair pretty play. good. Fair play. Okay, so but, Iron Mines is a beard all around, yes? Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Full on, like, Merlin. Um, the next card is called Miri Maz Dur. I think Miri you're Maz- pronouncing it incorrectly. Murder! Miri, Miri Maz- Mass Murder. Murder, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that, this card, I, I don't, I, no words... I tried to give this card a six out of five on Card Game DB. Scantron did <laughs> not happen. But, uh, well, this, your first this, problem is you let Scan- Scantrell control anything about your life. Well, you know, it's uh, it's his review, so uh, it's an amazing card. This this card wins games. That's all I can say about it. Uh, yeah. meh. Okay. Meh. Meh? Meh? Not meh. Like, like, but meh. like, just come out of your mouth right now. I don't know. It's Here. great, but like, I feel like it changed. Like, it changed the meta already, and it's answerable. Like in a way that I feel like Tywin isn't. You know what I mean? Like, she's great, but she's a step below like Tywin and Danny and Babo. What's your big answer for? Let me hear it. Treachery. Neil. Milk, milk, Neil, tre- milk, Neil, milk. Treachery, Winterfell, Cat. Um, just a bigger character. Those are cards that just stop everything, though. They stop all the good stuff that we have right now. Already. I mean, no, yeah. they don't stop yeah. Tywin or Danny. Winterfell, Winterfell, Winterfell and Cat are fair shouts, but those are both in one house. Okay, and but I mean, you know, 
you Tywin can't, is in see, one house. We can't cite treachery as an example. Wait, wait, of wait a ready, ready, pet ready. Pet no, ready. Like if you're okay, if you're playing Greyjoy, you have fifty saves. It'll take her eight turns to get through all of them. If you're that, playing that, Stark, I've, I've beaten Greyjoy so many times yeah, with her. That's that's good. I, I have I have beaten Greyjoy that saw two Risen from the Sea and two Iron Mines and a Balon dupe, and I still yeah, killed the motherfucker. You, you, you didn't <laughs> win because of her. You won because you were going to win that game. No, I won because I managed to kill Balon when they got to like thirteen out. <laughs> Eh, I'm pretty sure she that. lets you speed up that. I mean, it, it means Only you don't have to just right? ignore Greyjoy. You can start <laughs> eating through their saves. I just, I just beat him. I like, I don't know. Whatever. Um, Stark has two answers. Um, Lannister has Tywin or treachery. Barra has its Neil and probably. Wait, why not. is Tywin an answer? They have the hound. Right? Tywin, Tywin and the hound are big and stand there and say challenge. How about well, using? Oh, the here's hound, here's a trick. Doesn't matter because she's doing intrigue nine times out of ten. How about you use her oh, and the hound together to yeah, win at 11 strength, bounce the hound, and she still goes off. I mean, yeah, but... Ty- Tywin, sure, can block her. At a Lannister. There are plenty of ways to give her stealth. Or, worst case scenario, you made them kneel their Tywin, and now you can do your big military challenge, you can do whatever else you need to do. Lannister and sure, you can, you can make stop your big mill. What? Lannister has that other card that's going to stop your big mill. It's true. They do have that other card. But uh, against Targ, she's Dracarys bait. Martell is just like you thought you had icons. That was cute. Like, there's a significantly simple way to stop her everywhere but Tyrell, and Tyrell is terrible. There are and ways. Night's Watch, but, but Night's Watch there, is terrible. There are ways to counter her, but when she hits the table, you she demands have a counter. Have one of those counters. Yeah, better have. I agree. Lose the game. She's and just two. You didn't use it on my Taiwan, on my Danny, on my Khal Drogo, whoever else I have. You used your counter on this character. Yeah, uh, like, she's really good. She's a beard, but she's a lower beard. She's not Taiwan. Not a lower beard. She is the best card in this pack by far. She's, she's Lucas's beard this week. Miri Mazdur Voltron, guys. Voltron. So yeah, stick Make a bodyguard her. on her. Oh, wait. Yeah. Or it's, use Serio with her and then have her go on multiple challenges. Woo! Serio, so, Serio definitely doesn't give her multiple challenges. If you get out, if you get no, out, you use him, and then you use her for multiple challenges, you get guys. Serio, you, get Lyrgen, and Miri, you just wreck everybody's face. Yes, if, if you, you get cards on the table, you win the game. Yes, but yes, it's like you're, so your it is, your set your sixteen gold combo does absolutely kick ass. I have gotten that combo out, like <laughs> at least four times in the last you, two that I've been you, playing. You know what the second most important plot in the game after First Snow is? Trading with Pantoshi? Trading with the fucking Pantoshi is so <laughs> amazing. Every once in a while, two people have been trading. We're both sitting here with like six five strength guys turn two. I think like, we did that right. like three out of five yeah. games we played one night. It's just like, all right, I don't know what to do with this board. Eh, throw big shit at each other. See what falls first. All right, we all agree it's a beard. The beard. beard. Let's keep it rolling. I think we're right. dragon. The, the next card, very uh, thematically tied to Miri Mazdur, is the Blood Magic Ritual. It's a uh, Targaryen event, and it's not called Dracarys, so it's probably not worth running in every target. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, like, if the meta is ever overwhelmed with Greyjoy noobs, this card will be good. <laughs> sure. So never. But- <laughs> yeah, so never. <laughs> so never. What I said. Yeah. So never. I mean, yeah, I agree. Like... N- like nine times out of ten, if I'm if I want to save, I'm better off playing bodyguard. I think than this card because like everybody I want to save with this card is a lord or a lady. Not Mary Mazdur. <laughs> I don't want to save Mary Mazdur with this card. It blanks her text <laughs> box and makes her so much worse. <laughs> but then you can use your Viserys. To- I don't know. This card's shitty. Can we just call it a binder yeah. and move on? Binder and move on. Yes, yes, yes. Someone really Next. loved this card. Like the spoil <laughs> and. I just remember hating them for it. All right, the next ahead. one is the Knights of the Sun. They are a Martell character, in my opinion, a very good Martell character. I really like these guys. They are in like the perfect cost slot right now, that four cost. And um, they are an army, which is always cool. They have no attachments, so Stark with Ward can go fuck themselves. And they have Renown when Martell likes you to have Renown towards the late game, so... And a night trait as well. 
and nitrate as well. So, so this is, this is what the Umber guys should have been. Four cost, <laughs> drop the two, the plus two strength. This is the card that they should have been. Yeah. Yep. Um, but... You just got to play them both so that one of them is always up. <laughs> <Boo>. In, in, <laughs> in proxying, um, that was terrible. In proxying this card, I started playing Palace Spearman again, and they're good too. <laughs> like, you all kind of forgot that Palace Spearmen are good. Because like, a bunch of times I would draw pa- Palace Spearmen knowing that they were proxying this and be like, man, Palace, I really wish they were just Palace Spearmen <laughs> right now. Palace Spearmen's a good card. I could use that 4 for 4 Tricon. It's true. Um, yeah, it's solid. Like, I like it. Games go more than three plots right now. They, they do do that. So, uh, it's builds. A... Build? Build? Yeah. Give it a good build. Solid build. Build plus. Oh, build, me too. Build plus. <laughs> we are, we are like, not we are not the fucking white book. We're not doing pluses like on my got three it's ratings. Build with like a two day sh- just scruff on <laughs> it. That's what it is. No. Yeah. No. Stop being the white book. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, well the next card is Vengeance for wait, Elia. Wait, Buzz never talked shut up. Buzz didn't talk about Knights of the Sun. Buzz, oh, I'm sorry, Buzz. Buzz. Go for it, Buzz. I, I said I agree. Uh, <laughs> there Buzz is go. falling asleep. <laughs> the uh, the next card is Vengeance for Ilya, but that's misspelled. It's actually called Red Vengeance. Oh, okay. Oh, now I understand. Yeah. Wait, the influence. Where? What? Uh, run more influence, guys. Run it more. It says up, up in the left corner, it says to, to influence, right? Oh. I see it. Yeah. Okay. Um, This card is super fucking overrated. Super overrated? Like, the meta isn't running enough to claim, and everyone has claim soak. It's okay. For two co- like, once we have Valor, it's good again. But for now, it's just kind of there. Like, it goes in a couple decks. Uh, Martel, by a couple Banner decks, Lion, you mean every Martel deck? Is that what you no, it's, that it's, you not, good, it's not good in every Martel deck. Far from. Far, Far from. from? Yes. Far from. It's, it's good. Uh, it, it is good with first snow. It's good like, in a lot of decks. Hey, you know what else is good? We, we didn't say like trial by combat's really good with first snow too. Yeah, yeah. Like I, th- I think that are... was implied that I, if you yeah. <laughs> run tribal combat, you run first snow winter, you run but, yeah military stuff I, and two claim. I, I, and... I, think it, I think it's implied that if you run the Lannister house card, you're running uh, first snow winter. Like I at mean, this point, how many Lannister decks don't run first snow? I don't know. Uh, whatever. <laughs> so Vengeance for Elia works the exact. <laughs> yeah, we get it. Vengeance for Elia, like. By the way, how right was I about first? No. Um, Vengeance yeah, for Elia. We were all right. We all agreed. <laughs> everyone, everyone. It's not everyone, like everyone, you were the only one that thought first. No, it's gonna be good. Everyone wow. but Craig agreed, and I got yelled at so much. How time. right was I about first snow? <laughs> you know who was really right about Pat first yourself snow? On the back. Wait, you know who was really right about first snow? John Bruno. Yeah, <laughs> he was the most right. He was the most right. Uh, yeah, Vengeance for Ellie is like I have a the boards are big, man. Mm. Like, you need small boards. Yeah, unless you're building a deck specifically for a small board, which is doable, which Martel can do, but not every Martel deck does. Like a lot of the late game rush stuff doesn't really care about board size, and this card doesn't fit in that. And that's what Martel in Second Edition has done to this point. I mean, worst case scenario, it can protect your hand or your power as well. It doesn't have to be just for military. I mean, if there's a card in your hand that you need to protect, like that Doran's game, late game, this can stop it. If your opponent is going to get to 15 power and you can stop them by nullifying their power claim, this will stop that too. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. I think it's a builder. I just think everyone thinks it's a beard and it's not right now. It's a strong builder. Strong builder. Yeah. Builder for sure, yep. and and it's really great in those in those uh, builds. I mean, I think it's a builder build. Yes, <laughs> a builder build. Are that I cards? will accept. There's th- <laughs> there's three oh, there's four more. Let's go. The next card is the Street of Steel, and it does not reduce a character with a military icon anymore. Oh. Sad. Oh, I wish. Yeah. It um, I would have been loved. better. God, the streets back would have been so good. Whatever. Um, first edition streets were just reducers, by the way. <laughs> we didn't need more reducers. Yeah, this, Not yet. this card is uh, 
it, it goes in that same theoretical deck with the Raider from Pike when Greyjoy gets a couple new weapons. I mean, mm-hmm. I think items are more likely to be good, no? Because item yeah, already has we, one neutral worth playing. Right. There is one neutral worth playing, and there's one item that I can think of that's really worth playing, but it's limit once per deck, and you're also <laughs> right playing a black one in the same deck. So, well, if I'm, you played, I'm... if you played like, I mean, you're probably running shadow black, but if you run that one item, then you run like two or three seal, and then you run like banner lion and a couple widows whale. That's not terrible. Yeah, but then are you not running Shadow Black Lane to go dig for your Chikaris anymore? No, that's a, it's a stupid it's a stupid idea. But like, you it's can't do them both. Like, yeah. if, if it if it didn't take the House Guard Neil, I would be much more okay with it. But yeah. that that House Guard Neil can be used for so many better effects than this. Uh, yeah, and so. every house, huh? Mm. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking Stark looking for ice. And yeah, they, they they need something more first. Ice I mean, needle. They, they have needle. That's it. Mm, yeah, exactly. But w- when when they get more support, more good items, more good weapons, they are the ones who would love to run this, right? Yeah, I agree. Finding ice is very good, but they hey, need are, are any of those are any of those new barrier attachments, weapons, or items? No, no. That would be too easy, right? All like conditions. It. We can't have nice things. Although it does get you Neil with Barrow. I'd probably just rather run Shadow Black again. Yeah, yeah I mean, I guess if you, you want more to more of it in your deck. Yeah. So, like, I mean, yeah. How long Go. is this going to be in the binder for, you think? Um, knowing FFG, like, forever. But hopefully, <laughs> hopefully just a cycle. Yeah. Like, do they remember to put item on any attachments? <laughs> is what we're yeah, they, <laughs> like, do they remember they seeded that? <laughs> I mean, if like I think if Stark gets a couple of good items or weapons, this card starts to see play in Stark. But until then, it's Binder. I can't imagine if you remembering. Like, there's like six seed cards in this pack alone. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to remember these. Yeah, but two of them are for the same seed, so it's fine. So they just fine. have to so remember to put more weapon attachments. <laughs> uh, every, we all agree that it's Binder. So the next it's one. Every is uh, a card that I have seven copies of, mm-hmm. at least. The Eerie. It's a hey. neutral location, and it costs a lot. Um, I... Someone's... Okay. This card... Every bit of my first edition deck building instinct says this card is terrible, and someone's gonna fucking break this card, and we're all gonna look stupid. I'm telling you right now. Someone's going to figure out some stupid shit to break this card because that's what happens with these weird, powerful effects in 2nd Edition that seem too oddly costed. Every time. I think we'll it's see. a builder. Yeah. I mean... I think... Yeah. Go ahead. If, if we get, like, a really good, like, Voltron deck that can keep, like, one dude just, like, going nuts, if Miri Mazdur were a lady... Uh, and I could throw seal the hand on her. I mean, searching your icon, your item attachments with Street of Silk, <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> then maybe you can uh, you can throw this card in the deck. But until then, it's just it's so expensive. Four gold. You can't so reduce weird. it with I, I don't anything know. in the game. Wait. Yeah. When when you build that Voltron Gregor deck where he's with all the- three icons and seal of the hand. <laughs> Noble linkage and steal the hand. Searching your icon, your item attachments with Street of Silk. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> then maybe you can uh, you can throw this card in the deck. But until then, it's just it's so expensive. Four gold. You can't so reduce weird. it with I, I don't anything know. in the game. Wait, it's I don't know. So expensive. I don't know. I mean, I know what's making me say this. What's making me say this is the Arbor, but this is going to be a Terrell card one day. Like, I the mean, Arbor, you're just going to shit this card out and not care. And you're, like, Terrell can't be terrible forever. they got to get a power card at some point. Sure. And and the fact that, you know, Queen of Thorns can dump in characters so you don't have to be spending yeah. your gold on your characters necessarily. I agree. I think I think the first faction that this finds a home in will probably be Tyrell. Or Lannister. One of those two. How is yeah. that going to Lannister could work too. I mean, just Lannister doesn't have space for shit. Like yeah. Lannister's like locations. Pfft. 
I just yeah, need to play more of my awesome characters, and I'll win. Yeah, I'm, I think it's a builder. Yeah, Buzz? I think a binder. I mean, I think uh, it's... prove me wrong. Go ahead, but binder for it's sure. Yeah, I, that's I think it's, it's a it's a binder <laughs> for now. I think someday this might be a builder. The next card we have is another first edition card. It is Nightmares, and it is an event, and it's neutral. Uh, and shit, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it. it's... First of all, it is worse than the first edition version. It now costs gold, and it also no longer blanks traits. Um, I think this card, this card over the last like week or so is a card that like every time I build a deck, I'm like, man, I really want to put nightmares in here and I just can't fit it in. Like, I just don't have the space and it is a card. It, it is my 60th card. Like every time, like if I'm ever sitting there with a deck that's like less than 60 cards by a couple, I'm like, all right, let's throw on some nightmares. Yep. Cause it's a card that when you draw it, you will always be able to play it and get some use out of it because it blanks every like effective card in the game. So, but in current decks, like I really don't see what you're cutting for this, unless you're one of those decks that plays milk, but really doesn't want to, and also doesn't like locations. I mean, I, I think it's good in Stark. They have one good uh, event, Stark, and this Stark. supplements it very good. Stark's going to get this on a character soon. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> at, some, at some point, Lucas, no, Reed, no, no, Lucas no. Reed, that dick saw to I don't know Lucas Reed <laughs> at all. I actually take that back because I don't know Lucas Reed. I can't be mean to people I don't know. Um, but, like, God, I hate that fucking card. Miri is my least favorite card in first edition. By far. Miri? Miri Mazdur? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wasn't a first edition card, weirdly. No. Yeah. Uh, no, I like I, it. I think it's a good event. I like it yeah. a lot. I think it's a builder right now. Um, I mean, I feel like a well, a well-played Nightmares is sometimes even better than a hand's judgment because you can stop what they would have been been trying to kind of fuel the, their event with. You can kind of mm -hmm. stop it before it ever even gets that far. Um, like cut, take out someone's stealth that they were going to use to hit mm -hmm. you with, with, with some thing that would have been much worse, and, and it hurts them more, right? Instead of just canceling some event. I, I like it better than hand's judgment. I don't think it's as easy to use, but I like it better. Just as kind of as a player, it's less reactive, it's more proactive, and I like it for that reason. I so, played versus uh, a Stark deck uh, this this week, and I had Nymeria out. He had first turn ice on uh, on Arya. I was like, okay, I'm gonna <coughs> uh, I'm gonna steal her military icon, and this is gonna be fine. He's like, oh, I have an action. First, he's first player. <laughs> Blank Nymeria. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's a new card. Damn it! Yeah. I mean. Do that yeah. on Serio too for all sorts of trouble. Um, you can protect from a Dracaris if your character is five strength or more. If Danny's on the board, mm -hmm. just nightmares Danny, and your character would still be at one strength, and you're fine. Um, what else? Like, there's like a million really good ones. Like when Stark thinks they're cute with Rob on the board, nightmares him right before he would stand everybody. Yeah. Like um, unopposed mill. I'll nah. Fuck you. Good versus Caldrogo. Great against Balon when they finally build up that awesome Balon. You're just like, nah, I'm just gonna defend with a Chud. Have fun with that. Yep. It just, it's yeah. They chump the first mill. You use it on Drogo. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a good builder. Yep. <laughs> no, it's not. That's a beard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fine. It's a beard. I or a beard. I think. It, I think it's a high end builder. I, I don't think you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna fit in enough decks for it to be considered a beard. You're not, you, but you're. You, but you're show me all like, of your decks that run nightmares, Aaron, and I will agree. That <laughs> you've here. got all. You've Ooh, got on the decks. spot. Put him but on. No, the spot. like you're always gonna wish you had it. You're not gonna put it in decks. Yeah, but that doesn't don't... make you a beard. <laughs> God, I wish it was in my deck. It's like you. Like God, I wish I could grow a beard. <laughs> exactly the same thought. <laughs> so then it's a, then it's a clean shaven face that wishes it were a beard. <laughs> is what you're telling me. It's a beard. 
I refuse to give him nightmares mm-hmm. instead of beard. There's no deck I couldn't add it to and feel like the deck got worse. Okay. I'm telling you, cut your hands, judgments, put in nightmares. In most situations, that'll do the job. By the Except- way... Uh, Mira was uh, was designed by uh, uh, an Italian. The an, oh, was an, it? An, an, Andrea. It was Andrea. Who, what? Yes. Andrea Guadagni. Oh, that was Gualdo. I yeah. think you're confusing the fact that Mira's last name is <laughs> Reed. Yeah, that's exactly what <laughs> I did. Lucas Reed, Reed was, actually... was Pinch of Powder, if you remember. Wow. Oh, poor Lucas <laughs> The Pinch Reed. of Powder. I, I extra take it back because that card sucks. I know. I hope I hope Lucas gets contacted by FFG and he rights his wrong of Dude, inflicting what? us the community with pinch of powder. Yeah, like just let FFG redesign that shit to something decent. It can it can be good. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lucas. Last card. I know you don't know what Thrones is anymore. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Last card is a uh, is a plot card, and it is famine. Oh yeah. Um. Hey, wait, I, wait. Well, Card. So Gualdo is just a blight on our community, huh? He gave yeah. us Mira, and then he stopped supporting Agot cards, and then we had to use the Facebook. So, like, everything <laughs> wrong with Thrones is Gualdo. And even before that, Agot cards was... It's it's a horrible, horrible designed <laughs> website. It really is. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a high school kid's like website project, right? It's all we had. <laughs> I yeah, design. I mean, I mean, I hang out there all the time. But <laughs> oh, me too. It was, it was the only place everyone to go. Does... So bad. It was like your loser friend who had like the basement that you could all hang out in, but it sucked. <laughs> but you went there because there was no place better to go, so you hung out in his basement. That that oh, was nice. a god card. Famine. I am in that basement right now. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. looks like it too. Look I can tell the wood paneling. He's yeah. Look at this basement right now. All right, so Famine, right? Famine. Ah, I love the ability, and I hate the stats. The stats are so bad that I don't want to play it. But I do want to play it because the ability is so good. So probably this, card looks, this card Maybe. looks like a proxy that I'd use for other two claim plots if I ran out of them while I was building it. <laughs> It's got four reserve. They couldn't. It's got two gold and four reserve. Like you're not playing shit with your two gold. You couldn't at least give it a decent reserve. Yeah, a card has to be named Valor Margolis to have those kind of stats and have me run it. See any play? Yeah. I mean, in an economy game, though, the ability is so good. You first know into this. If you've got Tywin, if you've got economy, it crushes your opponent. It puts them in a position where you're going to wipe their board twice. Naval, just fucking (laughs) naval. Just I mean, naval. Because like, they're going to drop their fucking trading that turn, and you're going to be like, well, now you have nine gold to play with. No, right. every character is plus one. Yeah, but... You have but half the gold to play with. This, this mean, card... That's not how math works. That's this card exactly can works. follow up a first <laughs> snow and be pretty solid. Like, if you first snowed, you put all their cheap guys back in their hand, they want to try to get them back out, but, like you said, Aaron, if they play trading... They're going to have the gold to do it anyway. Yeah. For reserve. So, After first note, your hand is packed. Four right, reserve and two gold. That's fair, too. I mean, I, I think this plot either needed better stats, or I think, I think honestly, when we get Kings of Winter, this plot will go up in value a lot. Wait, you know because what this it, plot, No, it needs oh, to go oh. become friends with the Northern Rookery and the Kingswood, because they're all going to live together in the same place. No. Forever. No, no, no. It's Damn. not on that one. It's good. It's a builder. Builder. Uh, <laughs> after this game night, uh, one of our really good aggro players uh, came up to me and he was like, "Oh my god, this this family is so good!" And he had all night long been playing first no famine, first no famine, and yeah. he, he crushed he crushed every game. I mean, he's a really 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 good player, but still, he 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 loved it and. I think when Kings of Winter comes up, this card is an easy builder because giving your opponent minus one gold and then also making all their characters more expensive, that is crushing. And especially because you're definitely playing First Snow in that deck. It's another Winter card. Capitalizes on that choke. But I think until then, I don't know. I think you're probably better off running Naval because I bet a lot of those games where he hit people with Famine, he probably would have hit them with Naval too. And it probably would have been just as brutal for them. So, yeah, I guess with the winter plot, it's really negative two gold. 
and then plus. So it affects half your gold in Lucas math. So at that point, <laughs> like, it's reasonably solid. But for the time being, it's going to sit in a binder, and I'll look at it again when Kings of Winter shows up. <laughs> All right. Um, wait, wait. Yeah. Sorry, Miriam Asdor has the Larzine keyword. Lazarine. Lazarine. The Lazarine trade. What you got to you got to prepare for that Lazarine synergy, man. <laughs> what is what is Nate doing with his life that he's like, man? This needs to be balanced. Let's give it the Lazarine trade. Yeah. Why? Then you're you're gonna laugh when Dissension says discard an ally or Lazarine <laughs> trade. Just <laughs> <laughs> said ally or Meiji then. <sighs> Meiji, um, Meiji. <laughs> we Magi? have uh, a question from Trey. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> he, what he, he, <laughs> I, I I know that he is a new player for our second edition, uh, so he is asking: As veteran players, are you looking forward to Valor? Does second edition need it? Guys, can you pull your headphones off your head for a second? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think yes all of and us are yes, looking forward yes. to it. I think it's a yes and a no. I I wanna. I think I'm gonna make a flow chart or like some sort of graph of Aaron's <laughs> opinion on Valor throughout the course of uh, second edition. Because at the beginning he was like, "Man, we need Valor right now. This game needs it so bad." And he was like, "No, guys, it's all right. This game is fine." He's like. <laughs> Guys, we're starting to need Valor again. This is looking pretty grim. And he's like, no, never mind. It's all right. We're fine. And now he's like screaming at the top of his lungs. We need Valor back today. Make up your mind, Aaron. Uh, okay. So we don't need Valor. The game is playable. No, we don't the game it. is good. But like, am I looking forward to it? Shit, yes. Like, yeah. the game is good. There's skill involved. Hey, what did... um? Luke do do the other day, Patrick. What? I mean, like that, Valor doesn't stop that, right? But it stops you being able to build specifically that way. Oh yeah, Luke. Luke uh, dropped a Tywin and Seal, and he saw two dupes of Seal and two dupes of Tywin, and like two Iron Mines. Like so with Valor, like, you can run the Iron Mines part of that, but you can't run the rest. Like you can't just run three of every unique anymore. I mean, you can, but you'll lose. I mean, I I'm at the point where I'm probably. I'm not really running three of more than two or three uniques anyway at this point. Yeah, but they're all big. That's true. They are all big. And I mean, Valor definitely changed the game a huge amount. And I am looking forward to what it's going to do to the game and what it's going to kind of, you know, what it's going to make you have to think about. Because right now, hey, building the decks in this game is uh, is pretty straightforward in a lot of ways. Like, you can kind of get a base of a deck really quick and you just be like, all right, three Balon, three Asha, or mm -hmm. probably two Asha at this point. But, you know, you can go three Tywin, three Tyrion, done, go, boom, 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 all these big characters. And when Valor comes out, you have to think, okay, do I need that character enough that it's worth risking having some dead cards in my deck? In, uh, in I, Pat... Oh, God. I think it's... Uh brings more value to all of the challenges. Uh, the power and intrigue challenges are uh, more important early mm -hmm. on than it, that is in the beginning now. Because now it's military, right? Military is important early. If, if, you, can if you can gain the board advantage, you can run away with the game. Uh, when Valor is around, that, that switches. So in the early stages of the game, you want to start gathering power and you want to uh, start uh, getting rid of your opponent's hand. And after the Valor, if if you don't f refill the board quickly, the the military is gonna is gonna end you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in Patrick's haunts, Card Game DB, where he hangs out with his noob friends, um, yep. they're constantly freaking out about how much First Snow changed and often ruined the game, right? Man, wait till Valor hits. <laughs> like, like anyone who left the second edition boards on Facebook needs to rejoin for that, because holy shit, I cannot wait for that shit storm. Yeah, people, Card Game DB will crash. Oh, people are going to lose their minds. It's going to be the best. I can't wait. Like, just as a, like, oh my god. It's going to change everything you know about the game in ways that, like, you think First Snow changed things. 
Nope. Yeah. It's more mind games, more plot decisions, more deck building decisions, more challenge well, decisions. With the plot rules decisions. now, you'll be able to create almost a seven card plot deck that's resets and, and, and character destruction. You'll be able to play with these tiny boards that even in first edition and, and, and the CCG, you could never do. I mean, you're talking like, I mean, can you play two Valors? I, it'll probably no, limit. Probably, probably not. not. <laughs> but you can go like two, two Marched, Wildfire, Valor, First Snow, and that's like three that's varies, five. Three Varys. <laughs> yeah. Three and three Varys. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, I mean, you can't it, afford Varys with that plot tech, but okay. <laughs> Hey, trading, and, uh, trading, and trading, trading, <laughs> trading, and summons. Boom. Bowling is going to be <laughs> useless. The second but, Valor I mean, comes out, I'm never running calling the banners again. No, I love <laughs> playing with small boards, and any yeah. card that lets me keep the board small, I'm all for 100. percent So I, I can't wait for Valor. I want it. I love it. I don't think we need it. I don't think the game is worse because of it, but it's definitely more my kind of game w when it comes out. Hey, so a, a question that I'm I'm curious about. I know Aaron's response to this because we've talked about it, but Buzz and Lucas, what? How many like percentage wise? What percentage of decks do you think will play Valor when it comes out? Completely depends on the stats, right? I think Let, we have let's say agree. let's say it's like two zero zero five. Mm -hmm. It's got to be six. De completely depends on the oh. card pool at the moment at that time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. He doesn't fair want enough. to answer. <laughs> no, I, I, I think, uh, I think, I think it becomes an almost auto include again. Mm. I really do. It's that important. Maybe. If it's a Maybe. two zero zero five. I think if it's not in every deck, you expect it to be in every deck. Maybe, maybe it doesn't reach like it did in one point but kind of like how marched is now. Like you, you play as if your opponent has marched. And you're kind of playing foolish if you don't. And I think that's where, where Valor will sit. You play as if your opponent has it. If they don't, and you see that seventh plot, and it doesn't flip, you can change your game plan and, and, and go a different direction. But, but you better play as if they have it. Yeah. Hey, I exactly. think a lot of the new players, uh, well, or, or you no, know, uh, a lot of the bad players, uh, because there are good, <laughs> good new players. Uh, are there, though? Yes, there are. Oh shit! There are. They're throwing shade. There are in California. We've got some uh, in in Stockholm as well. We have really good new players. Uh, I mean, we do in New York, uh, except for average <laughs> people. Anyway, so the, I think in the early game of uh, second edition, every new player had wildfire in their decks, right? They they were they were oh maybe I should take it out, but nah, it's good for safety. And that's not how you should view Valor, but I think a lot of people will, in the beginning at least, until they realize. So at the beginning, more people will play it than they should. And I think more people played it in first edition than should have played it. So. First edition control was a real thing. I mean, in control, you basically always wanted Valor, right? Oh, yeah, sure. But like, th there was a lot more control in first edition than has appeared in second edition, in part because of the existence of Valor. I'd be right back. Um, it's also Valor's going to make reserve matter an awful lot more than it does. Like, Famine that we just talked about, I don't think I can play that with Valor in the meta. Like, if you get hit with the wrong time or you hit that at the wrong time, especially with Winter when that has three reserve, as uh, someone in the chat said. But, like, Wadamir? Yeah, Wadamander, something like that. But, um, like, three reserve with Valor on the meta is just you lose, right? Unless you kill that turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, even March gets dangerous, no? Like, five reserve is more dangerous than Valor in the game. Yeah. You yeah, get hit with fair. a Cersei with Valor existing, and it's just like, and now I have no way of recovering. Draw matters again. It's true. I mean, it is an entirely different game, and I, I am, uh, I think store championship season next year will probably be about the time that we see Valor coming back, and I think it's going to be a very interesting season because I think you know store championship season is a time when a lot of players are trying out new builds, and uh, I think seeing what comes out of Comes out of the mist when Valor comes out. It's going to be really interesting. I think it will. 
I, I agree that uh, releasing at the uh, store championship season is a good idea. And have people been, been able to test with it and get to terms with it over the season until the Worlds. But I think the next one over, I think. Yeah. So not this year, but maybe it comes out in, end of next year. I think so, yeah. yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, does, I, I think does, it's going to be in the second cycle, probably. The second it, cycle? Uh, I think, yeah, I think second, so. second cycle. I mean, too soon. Does does Nate talk about it if it's not coming relatively soon? Is yeah, Nate I mean, like, like, is Nate like, is this this will be here? <laughs> I promise. And then it comes out three years later. Because that's a little like, really, Nate? You know what I mean? Is that crazy? Yeah. No, I mean, I clearly I agree. So <laughs> I don't. I mean, I guess we'll fucking see. I don't know shit. Yeah, we'll find but, out. It's just the feeling I have. I I don't think we'll see it yet. In a while. Yeah. Wait, what? Why are we propping Roy? <laughs> uh, Dub, does he know Roy's not here? I think he's thinking that. Oh, Patrick he's he's is Roy, right? He, no, he's probably drunk and editing <laughs> tomorrow's article for White Book. Hey, we're getting uh, the we're getting the Primo Friday slot. Ooh. We're getting the White Book slot, except we're not going to for GameDB because we should copy on FFG's own site. All right, boys, let's wrap this up. It's getting late. This is a long show. <laughs> it's getting late, says Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> the the earliest time <laughs> my night is just beginning. I, like this isn't actually this, this isn't my plans for the night, guys. This is like this is the pregame. This is a pregame show. It's five. It's five a.m. here, and twenty-four oh. hours ago, my alarm clock went off. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody.